Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, pretty exciting Linux Geek bundle uh, happening on Humble Bundle right now. As always, if you click through using the link below in the description, uh, you can buy me a beer, basically. Um, I want to show you a couple of the highlights. There's a couple books here that I've got actually physical copies of that I really, really like. Um, so I'm just going to kind of tell you what I'm most excited about. Probably what you'll get the most out of uh, as a working sysadmin or DevOps engineer uh, or even software developer. Automate the boring stuff with Python for a buck. Really can't go wrong. It's a great book uh, for that that strange time when you've learned the basic syntax of Python, but you can't really execute any of your more complicated ideas yet. Um, this is one of those books that'll teach you how to develop software in Python with kind of very small project-based uh, things that are actually useful to you. Uh, Perl one-liners, <laughs> useful. People will yell at you if you pepper these throughout your code, but um, Still interesting to see how things were done uh, in the dark, dark past of system administration. The next one I'm really excited about is the Book of PF. It's a great firewall. Uh, if you're interested in OpenBSD or the BSDs at all, this is uh, a great book. There's one more great um, OpenBSD book, which I'll get to in a second, in this bundle. Uh, GNU Make. New Make. GNU. New. I don't know. I always just type it. Um, Make is a spectacularly useful automation utility, which could probably replace just about half of the JavaScript build plugins that exist these days. Um, it's just simple, predictable automation um, that I feel like everyone should know, whether you're a software developer or a sysadmin, it's just really useful. Uh, Wicked Cool Shell Scripts uh, is another favorite of mine. It's one of those things where it's like you've learned a little bit of Bash, maybe you've looked at my uh, Bash playlist and you're like, okay, well, these are the basics, where do I go from here? Uh, well, this is where you would go from, from there. Uh, actual useful tasks broken out you know, by task into a shell script and then kind of explained. Absolute OpenBSD, amazing book. I didn't even use OpenBSD at the time and I still really enjoyed reading it. It's a Mike Lucas book, if that doesn't tell you anything, uh, Michael Lucas is probably my favorite tech author. Anyway, if you're interested at all in the BSDs or OpenBSD, this is that second book I was talking about. Uh, it's a great, great read and it's a super useful operating system. If you've got like a small task on your network that you, you know, like I want a DNS server or I want to run a mail server, OpenBSD might be exactly the right thing for you. Um, likewise, firewalls are great with OpenBSD. Think like a programmer. Uh, this one's a little bit hard to categorize. I read through this uh, early on in my kind of programming adventure. Um, I don't remember the details anymore, but I remember this kind of changing like how I thought about programming, how I approach problems, and just helping again to get me over that hump where you just found out how to program and you can't do anything really complicated yet. You're, it's easy to get confused. You make all kinds of mistakes in your code. This can help you uh, think about programming, think about decomposing problems, building software, doing that kind of stuff. Okay, finally, I've got a physical copy of this one, and it is, honestly, uh, I'm getting this <laughs> bundle mainly to have a digital copy of it because it's a friggin' huge book. I'm looking at it on my shelf right now, and it is, I would say, like three inches thick uh, and just like packed solid with pages. I guess packed solid with pages, does that mean anything? I guess all books are sort of like by definition packed solid with pages. I don't know. Uh, anyway, if you want to do systems programming, you want to actually deal with Linux itself, then the Linux programming interface, uh, while it's a few years old, I think is still generally seen as the best like introductory resource to actually talking to Linux directly. Like you want to, you know, write or expand some syscall. You want to actually start contributing to Linux. You want to find out how Linux has implemented something. Again, although this isn't entirely up to date, I don't know if there is a resource that's entirely up to date that isn't like download the kernel source code and start reading the mailing list. But this, if you like having stuff in book form, being able to kind of like browse through something in that way that a book lets you do, uh, then I highly, highly recommend this one. I might go back and do some more reading in this bad boy now. Anyway, uh, I hope that's been useful. Uh, definitely let me know which of these books you like the most. Uh, as always, this is a limited time thing. And if you want to help me out, always just, you know, either click through the link below or add a question mark partner equals tutorial Linux at the top. And, uh, click the choose where your money goes button and then you can see there you can kind of figure out where you want to put that as always I, I love EFF so I generally donate most of my dough to the EFF and then I you know I encourage you to you know I'm just kidding 
you know, give, give No Starch Press something. They're an amazing publishing company. They've kind of put their money where their mouth is uh, over the years. They're a great company. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Peace.